JBN, we keep you informed. Funeral service sent the wrong body after cremating their loved one. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. After a relatively short but debilitating battle with stage 3 breast cancer, all the relatives of 48-year-old Sandra Wohn wanted was to ensure that her request to be laid to rest beside her mother at Melrose Cemetery in Manchester was granted. This plan, however, went awry. The grieving relatives discovered that the body delivered to them for burial on Sunday was that of another woman named Sandra, and that Rowan was mistakenly cremated at Calvary Funeral Services and Supplies on North Street in Kingston. We're confused. We don't know what to do. One of the sisters, Joy Plummer, said at the family home in Barnstable, Manchester yesterday. Plummer said that even though the funeral home offered to give them the cremated remains, the family is not prepared to take it. She argued that if they were capable of giving them the wrong body, they could not be certain that they would not be given the wrong ashes. Plummer said that some friends and family, including her, had doubts about the appearance of the body in the open casket prior to the start of the Thanksgiving service at Marantana Seventh-day Adventist Church in Manchester. She said, however, that no one wanted to create a scene at the service, and the program proceeded as planned, after which they made their way to Melrose Cemetery. She said Ron's children, who traveled from Kingston, made it in time for the burial and insisted that they wanted to see their mother one last time. When they saw the body, they confirmed that it was not her, even though she was wearing the wig and dress given to the funeral home for Ron to be buried in. Plummer said the driver of the hearse speculated that maybe the powder on her face had changed her features, but the family felt otherwise. Plummer and her sister Audrey said that even though with the powder and the rounds of chemotherapy Rowan went through during her treatment, it was not possible that her appearance had changed to the degree as observed on the body that was given to them. They said that when Rowan died, she was totally bald because of the chemotherapy, and the woman in the casket had hair when the wig was removed. Also, when they tried to look for a tattoo that was on one of Ron's feet, it appeared that the woman in the casket had no feet. She said that the pastor advised them to make the Lord take it in hand, and that prevented what might have been possible chaos at the graveside. Still wanting an official word on the matter, the family and others attending the funeral went to an office in William Seal, Manchester, operated by the funeral home, where the driver of the hearse was hoping to get somebody who could better assist the family. Joy Plummer said that eventually on Sunday night, the body was taken back to the North Street location where they received the news that their sister had been cremated. One of Ron's daughters had to seek medical attention at Kingston Public Hospital, KPH, after hearing the news, and although she was not admitted, is still not doing well. The family is also trying to cope with a range of emotions, primarily confusion since Sunday. Um, no, me can't believe it. Me hear about them as sitting here, but I know me prove it. It hurt right now. Me heart a hurt me, said Joy Plummer, who revealed that the family used the same funeral home four years ago when their mother passed. Plummer said the family paid $370,000 for the funeral, plus other costs for videography, buses, rental of chairs, and provisions for the repast. The deceased who lived in Bull Bay for many years had a store in downtown Kingston. The funeral home was called twice to get a response. On one of two calls, having heard the allegations, a male who responded wanted to find out which family member was making the claims. The call was then disconnected and the person could not be reached afterwards. When we called the other number, a woman who answered said that she was unable to comment. Calvin Lynn, president of the Jamaica Association of Certified Embalmers and Funeral Directors, said that the government is slow in implementing regulations in the funeral service industry. He also said that to get some recourse, the family may have to retain an attorney. Yeah, Marinata Church, she buried. She honored the wrong body, them give way. It's not my sister body that, because number one, my sister had bald, and it's the lady were in the coffin. Female no bald, her head have an ear pony. It's not my sister that, I mean, what's your my sister? Because when she had get me sick, did when they, she had dead. Did they admit that it's the wrong body? Them, them never want to open the castle that we see. That is number one. And, the grave, they, they, and when they carry go to the grave, the them never want to open it either way. If you beg them to the open it. So the question now, is the body returned to the funeral home or it buried? What, what did they do? It, it buried. You want to bury it? No, you know, it returned back. So what happened to your family we, member? We don't know. 
And the wrong, and the wrong body them pick up. The wrong body. I know my sister that are the wrong one that. That the woman they want all woman that. Want all woman. With both foot. And my sister not all like that. Woman all agree up. Yeah, with the foot. And know my sister that that. That know my sister. Me want my sister. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.